Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. I'm picking up the camera bright and early here as I'm getting all the equipment ready for today's project. Today guys, we are going to be removing an old concrete swimming pool. It's a 10 foot deep in ground pool. We have to jackhammer the concrete, dig it out, and then we'll be bringing in soil to have a nice and flat backyard. We definitely have our work cut out for us. Today guys, we are going to be using lots of equipment including both the big trucks, the Western Star 20 ton and the Peterbilt 10 ton dump truck here. Now we do need to get the big uh, deer excavator ready to go here for us and I did end up renting a jackhammer here which is pretty neat here. But you guys can see we got the F-250, we got the compactor and we got the skids here. So let's get the excavator and uh, we'll get it loaded up here and hopefully we could leave the shop here at around 7 a.m. and this might be a two-day project if we have any hiccups here. Hopefully, we can get it done today. Like always, guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. Guys, it's been a little while since I've ran this big excavator here, so I'm super excited for that. And this is definitely a big project here. I was thinking maybe the Volvo would do the trick, but hey, we need to bring our biggest excavator here if we want to do the job in a timely manner and still keep a pretty big profit here. Kind of close to that truck. Definitely don't want to hit our own dump truck here, but going up on the trailer, guys, is always a bit, uh, a bit uh, nervous uh, for myself. Just with the uh, steel track, sometimes do end up sliding here. We'll keep on going. Oh yeah, perfect. Nothing to worry about there, which is good. All right, we got the Rams folded up and we got the excavator strapped down here. So we're good to get going. Now the Western Star is gonna head right on over to get a full truckload of fill. And we're going to be using the Peterboat to haul away the concrete. And then this truck might help us out. Otherwise, it's going to go to another project here. So let me just double check a few things. And we'll get rolling over to the job site. Towing the big excavator, guys, is always a bit tricky here. I should probably get the strobe lights going just because of how tricky it is here. I mean, that is our biggest piece of machinery, even bigger than our backhoe. And it sometimes is just uh, kind of hard to maneuver, including these smaller streets here. But oh, look at that, guys. One of our employees has already arrived here. Now, I'm not sure when he's going to be getting back from picking up the soil, since that was, I think, almost a 35, 40 minute drive one way over to pick up the soil here. But guys, we are just now pulling up to a property and we actually can access it from this side, which is going to be really beneficial to us. Definitely need to take some turns wider here. But yeah, look at that. We're coming up on the job site. Wow. Look at that pool. All right, guys, let's take a quick walk around here before we get going so we know what we're doing here. So like I mentioned, guys, this is an old concrete pool. Wow, this thing is in really tough shape here. So we're going to be removing it, but there's just so much concrete here that we need to use a jackhammer to get that all uh, kind of uh, uh, easy for us to pick up with a bucket here. But wow, this, guys, uh, it might be more than a day's project here. We'll just have to see what happens, but uh, I'm going to get to the excavation with the jackhammer over here ready to go and I also am going to get the uh, dumb truck backed in here. Luckily uh, we don't have to kind of haul all the materials from the front of the yard and we could use the entrance off this other road here that really helps us out and it really minimizes the uh, area that we need to work in. Alright guys, let's get to jackhammering here. This is probably the biggest jackhammer I ever got to use. So I'm super excited here for this. But yeah, this thing should have no problem breaking through the concrete. Oh yeah, look at that thing already go here. So the biggest thing guys, the sides we could really do. But the uh, flat bottom here of the swimming pool is always the trickiest here. So let's see how we could do here. 
Oh yeah, look at that. No problem. Only takes a split second or two with the jackhammering to really do it here. But you guys can see, just look at how uh, deep the pool is. Let's see if we can finish up on this corner here. Now, I really do like the maneuverability not having too much things around us. That way, we could get the excavator all the way around here. But you guys can see the jackhammer is hard at work. And it's going to make it a lot easier to really uh, get the concrete up. Alright, let's get the jackhammer switched off here and put the bucket on. Now let's get to digging up the concrete here. Like I mentioned guys, I'm super excited. I've actually been looking for a job like this. And these only come on occasion here. Not too many people have a pool that they want to get uh, dug out here. And this is also a lot of money to do. I charge quite a bit. And it is because of all the work here. We have to bring in a lot of soil. We have to do some excavation. And we have to dispose of the concrete. One thing I'm going to do is try to position here. That way, in one fluid swing all over to the dump bed, uh, we could get unloaded here. But this is always kind of the fun part, is running the big machine here. And we don't really take this on too many jobs on camera. Usually, one of the other employees is running it here. But let's see here. Oh, yeah, look at that. No problem. Nice full bucket loads of concrete. Yeah, this is working quite well here for sometimes jobs goes as planned and other times we run into so many hiccups and different things here. But the concrete for the most part is coming on out here. Now, you guys might be saying, can't you just uh, put dirt over this? No, uh, we have to make sure we're also doing good to the environment, and not burying old things like concrete here. Now, there is old uh, piping for the pool pumps, things like that, old wiring that we're also going to have to take out. Yeah, guys, this excavator is working good here. We are taking out all of it. Almost halfway done with all the concretes. This is kind of the big, big thing we have to focus on here. We'll probably have one full truckload of concrete, which isn't too bad here. Not too expensive. Uh, luckily, I'm able uh, to break it up and uh, really uh, do it good here. But I'm going to get the truck backed up a little bit more here. Let's get this uh, uh, side of the pool uh, all cleaned out. Alright guys, there we have it here. I actually just finished on up here, so I'm thinking, let's see if we could kind of move the excavator here. Oh, there's not too much room, so I think we'll leave it here for now, but uh, the employee is going to go drop that off here, and I'm waiting here for the uh, first uh, truckload of fill to arrive here. Now, the fill that we are bringing in, guys, is tested, and uh, we're, we just want to make sure we aren't bringing anything in with hazardous waste or anything like that, but we do need the skid sear, and also, we do need the compactor. We have to compact it every so often, otherwise, yeah, there is going to be a big sinkhole in a year or two if after it does settle here. So let's get going on this, but uh, we're making really good progress here. I do have to find some time to eat some lunch. I uh, brought uh, some leftovers from dinner last night, and I think that should uh, keep me going until dinner. 
Although this compactor is quite heavy here, this larger, a 97-2 Kubota sure does do the trick here. So why don't we leave this here? I'm actually gonna eat my lunch while we wait for the first truck to arrive. All right, the first truck has arrived here. That is the first 20 tons here, and you guys can see that we are gonna be bringing in a lot, a lot of soil here. Now, one thing is, guys, as we are backfilling, I have to make sure I don't end up getting the skid steer stuck here. That wouldn't be too good. Uh, luckily, though, I mean, this is a little bit on the larger side here, but backfilling like this, guys, is always a little tricky here in farms, but I always really enjoy landscaping videos here, and I have so many cool things in the works here. Now, Buck should be helping out as well sometime late this week, early next week here. We, we have been having a great time with him, and uh, uh, we have a lot of projects to uh, come here in the future, but you guys can see, just look at that. This is so much work. Uh, just to backfill here, but we are making progress. I think we're going to need more soil than what I originally thought here. No problem. We'll just uh, have to take another truck or two to kind of get it hauled in. Guys, Farmer Joe's been hard at work here. I've been busy myself, and that is the last truckload here. There's just a little bit of a hole here we have to get spread out here, but I've been compacting it every about three to four inches here. But why don't we hop back here in the Kubota, and guys, I want to take on more projects like this. This is a lot of fun, especially do, uh, doing this job as a solo equipment operator today. Hop in between the excavator, the skid steer, jackhammering. I mean, so many fun things uh, we are doing in today's project here. And we are going to get a big, big paycheck here as well. Backfilling swimming pools, guys, is uh, going to be awesome. If we could kind of do even one or two of these a month, we'll be able to keep buying some more equipment and different things like that here. But you guys can see, I think I'm running low on camera battery. And it, I'm working well past 5 p.m. already. It's already almost 6 here. So I'm going to get finished up here. Here. But uh, guys, we did the job in one day here. It's been a long, long day of backfilling. Guys, we brought in 10 20 ton truckloads here. That's 200 tons of soil since we did remove a little bit there as well. But I'm going to go say bye to Farmer Joe and finish up here. And then I think I might come back uh, uh, later on uh, tonight or even tomorrow morning to pick up uh, any of the machines that are left here. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.